Hey guys, Andrew Davidson here and welcome back to another As Per My Ability video. If you like what we do here at As Per My Ability, if you like our content, if you like our videos, if you like board games in general, please do all the fun YouTube stuff, comment, like, subscribe. Also make sure you hit the bell so you get notifications when we post new videos. In today's video we're going to be talking about a role-playing game, sort of. We're going to be talking about a role-playing game with the skin completely peeled off of it. What do I mean by this? What's a role-playing game with the skin off? Well, we'll talk about it and we'll get into it after the sweet intro. Hey everybody, welcome back. Like I said, we're talking about role-playing games today, or at least one particular game. Before I get into the game, I want to give some preamble. Fantasy Flight Games released a Star Wars role-playing game. Now, this was something that was completely different than any role-playing game that I'd personally seen before, and I'm not really one that's big on the role-playing scene. But I thought it was incredibly interesting. Just never really had time to get into it because I had kind of sworn off role-playing games many, many years ago. And so it was one of those things that you see on your, your news feed or on BGG and you go, oh, that's cool. So being a huge fan of Star Wars, I was really wanting to check it out, but I was not wanting to jump back into the, the deep end of the role-playing experience. So when most people think of role-playing games, they think of Dungeons and Dragons. Now there's other games like Pathfinder that have come along and they're pretty popular as well. But for the most part, by and large, you're thinking about Dungeons and Dragons if you know anything about role-playing games. Dungeons and Dragons is featured on hit TV shows such as Community, uh, Twice, and also The Big Bang Theory. They do quite a few episodes where they play Dungeons and Dragons. So we're not going to be talking about any of that. We're not going to be talking about Fantasy Flight Games Star Wars role-playing game, which I highly recommend you check that out, but that's not what this video is for. This video is we're going to be talking about Fantasy Flight Games response to the Star Wars role-playing game where they put together this book and it's called Genesis. Genesis by Fantasy Flight is this pretty thick big hardcover book and what Genesis is is it takes the framework, it takes the mechanisms, it takes the basic idea, the core concepts, the fundamental aspect of gameplay the fun of character creation, the dice rolling, the skill checks, the leveling up. Genesis takes all of those things and puts it into this game without the theme. So what is the theme? If it's not Star Wars, then what is the theme? There is none. And that's what I love about Genesis. There's two things I want to talk about Genesis before we can just wrap this up and continue on with our lives. One is, this is a themeless game. All this is, is a house that's been built with no furnishings. There's nothing, there's no carpet, it's just no furniture. So this is basically your core rule book for how to play the role-playing, the Genesis system. Now to be upfront, it's incredibly, incredibly similar to the Star Wars one that Fantasy Flight has already put out and that one's been pretty successful as well genesis not so successful not really as far as i know not a whole lot of people are playing it but let me tell you why i like about it the theme is completely gone which means you can put in whatever theme you want and this book gives you how the how to play the mechanical aspect of it how characters are created what you roll for skill checks 
And again, I'm repeating myself, it's very based, heavily based on the Star Wars game. But there's no theme. So I know of some people, I searched up some videos about people talking uh, about Genesis. I didn't find a whole lot, but what I did find is some people were doing role-playing games in a pirate universe, in a dystopian universe. There were some that were doing like a modern day system where there wasn't a whole lot of conflict and combat, but it was more about like politicians and intrigue. I know for myself and my gaming group, we immediately thought of doing something like James Bond, like spies, uh, MI6, something along those lines. But this book has no theme to it. You can play whatever game you want. You just follow what they have in here. How do you create a character? How do you level up? How do you roll for skill checks? It's all in here. Now, they use the Star Wars, for those of you familiar with the Star Wars role-playing game, they use the narrative dice system, which I absolutely love. And that's point number two. So point number one is that you can play whatever game you want, or I should say theme. You can be pirates, you can be zombies, you can do apocalypse, you can do something in the future, you can do something in the past. Number two is that it keeps the same narrative dice me mechanism. And so for those, for those of you that don't know Star Wars, that's probably going to be a little bit too much for what I want to do in this video right now. But very quickly, the dice operate as a way for gamers to, how do they put it, fail forward or succeed at a cost. So unlike traditional role-playing games that we've known, at least I've known growing up, where you roll and you need a certain, it's like a pass-fail system, the Star Wars game and Genesis creates a... A pass but something kind of negative happens you successfully hack into the computer but it took you longer than you thought therefore you're late on getting to where you need to be or you successfully hack into the system but someone's alerted by your presence so maybe an alarm goes off that would be an example of like passing but with at a cost on the other hand, you can fail, but you can fail forward, meaning you don't do what you wanted to do, but something good kind of ha like happens because of it. And by adding those two elements together in the narrative dice system just blows role-playing games out of the water for me. As someone who loves narrative and I love the way they implement the dice, in the Star Wars role-playing game, they do the exact same thing here. You just get to pick your own game. I've got some friends that may not be too jazzed about sitting down and playing hours and hours and hours of Star Wars. This is where it's at. So Genesis by Fantasy Flight Games is basically just the bare bones of a game very related to Star Wars, the role-playing game. If you've played Star Wars from FFG, then you're going to already be pretty familiar with how this works. And you can create your own games, your own theme. I love that. I love the narrative dice. If you're into role-playing games, if you're looking for something new, if you're looking to be completely untethered as far as sticking to whatever theme that you buy, whether if it be Dungeons & Dragons or Star Wars, this is the game, or I should say this is the book that you should buy. So this is where I'm going to leave us. Hopefully you check out Genesis if you're looking for a role-playing game where you can just slap on any theme that you want. And with the narrative dice, it, uh, it works perfectly. So this is where I'm going to leave us for today. Once again, my name is Andrew Davidson. You've been watching As Per My Ability, and I will see each and every single one of you at the next video. And hey, let's go, Brandon.